Right now on Apple Valley News Now at 5, a false shooting investigation now underway by Kennewick police after some local schools go on a lockdown. Plus, Labor Day weekend is here and we are monitoring the fire danger. Also ahead, the Port of Benton receiving a large grant for electrification. Our Toby Solving will explain. Stacy. And we've got a hot weekend ahead of us, but look at tonight. It is a nice evening out there, 90 degrees. I'll break down everything coming up this weekend in your first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good Friday evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. First up this evening, the Kennewick Police Department now investigating fake calls after reports of a shooting. KPD says they received the reports of that shooting just before 1115 this morning in the area of East 10th and South Gum Street. Officials placed schools in that area on a modified lockdown while officers searched. But after about a half an hour, and according to officials, the reports were baseless. And now a fake reporting investigation is underway. So if you know anything, call the Kennewick Police Department. Labor Day weekend is here, and with the start of festivities, local and statewide officials are asking people to take extra precautions because of the hot, dry conditions returning for the holiday weekend. Our wildfire danger is heightening. Apple Valley News now spoke to the Kennewick Fire Department, who's offering these helpful tips. Well, we always want folks to call when they see a fire. That way, when it's small, we can get there quickly and try to minimize the exposure to, to other properties. Uh, just as a preparatory measure, always recommend that folks create a defensible space around their homes. It's always good to have a uh, hose from your domestic water supply or a fire extinguisher or a bucket so that you can quickly extinguish any fire that gets out of control. We're moving into a warm uh, dry weekend, so we worry about uh, winds or embers blowing into you know dry grass. So again, just having some tools available to quickly extinguish a fire. Another thing to keep in mind if you are planning to grill, make sure not to grill too close to your home. As people are rushing out to their Labor Day weekend holiday weekend destinations, our Stacy Lee joining us now from our first alert weather center with the first check at our forecast. Stacy, that warm up is beginning. And just as the fireman just said, a hot, dry weekend. In fact, heat warnings in place for Saturday and Sunday. Sunday will be the hottest of the weekend, but pretty much our entire region going to be hot unless you head to the coast. Much cooler there, and I'll give you your travel forecast a little bit later this evening. 90 degrees on our Legends Casino Sky Cam. River looks good. Perfect night to get out there. I see a boat or two. My husband, I told him to show up on that camera for me tonight. He's out boating with his daughter. If you're heading to the Walla Walla Fair and Frontier Days tonight, Night, tough enough to wear pink. The rodeo kicks off 96 on Saturday, 99 on Sunday. It's going to be hot out there, so dress accordingly. Tonight, though, cooling down nice and comfortable. We'll see temps in the 50s all through the region. Planning your day tomorrow, look for those temperatures. Fairly warm. Good time to get out there and do that morning morning uh, yard work and hikes. Middle of the day, you'll be in the 80s. We'll be up to the 90s in the later afternoon. So clear, calm, and cool tonight. Heat advisory through Sunday. Hot weekend. Some of us going to hit 100 degrees or pretty close to it. Chance of thunderstorms on Monday. I'll break it all down in your first alert weather forecast. Austin. All right, Stacy. And tonight, only Apple Valley News Now has team coverage on our September heat wave. Meteorologist Josh Colbert is covering the fire conditions for us now. Well, with the heat advisory in place, that means that we're going to have a pretty big stretch of hot and dry weather in the run up to Labor Day. And so let's show you just how dry our vegetation is going to look for Labor Day. We're going to be up into the 86th percentile in Kittitas and Yakima County. And when I say that, just know that the 100th percentile would be the driest vegetation on record for this region. So we're going to be up into the 86th percentile on Monday. Pretty breezy conditions out this way, so fires could start or spread quickly, theoretically. And then for the lower Columbia Basin, we'll also end up being pretty dry up into the 80th percentile, and it's also going to be quite breezy, so there's going to be that same risk. But it's a bit of a different risk in the Blue Mountains where we're going to be much drier up into the 94th percentile. There is a little bit of lightning in the forecast. It's about a 10% chance, but that's all it takes. One strike and, and maybe a fire could start or spread quickly. So we want you to be safe this weekend, not only in regards to the heat, but also in regards to fire safety. Josh Colbert, thank you for that. 
The Washington Department of Natural Resources is asking people to be extra vigilant to prevent wildfires during the Labor Day weekend. Commissioner of Public Lands Hillary Fran says in a statement, quote, fire season is not over. Over the 2020 Labor Day weekend, more than 500,000 acres of land burned in just 36 hours. Franz went on to say, we have seen firsthand that a single spark in the right conditions can make or break an entire fire season. Let's ensure we are not letting that spark happen this holiday weekend, end quote. Well, now to Yakima. Yakima City Manager Vicki Baker announcing earlier today that Varen Mayani has been appointed as the city's new finance and budget director. Mayani replaces Mark Roberts, who resigned from the city in January. Now, Mayani has already been actually participating in budget and finance related meetings remotely. His first day in office will be September 3rd. In recent years, he has served as a consultant for startups and nonprofits. He also worked for the city of Atlanta, Georgia from 2006 to 2010 as a business manager to the executive offices of the mayor. There, he managed an annual budget of about $220 million. City and state officials are working on a multi-year eradication plan to remove Japanese beetles from the Grandview area. Part of this plan includes opening a new free yard waste drop-off site for debris in infested areas on weekends. Starting tomorrow, Saturday yard waste drop-offs will be open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. You will need to provide proof that you are in a Japanese beetle infestation area to use the yard debris site. Yard debris items from the infested area can also be disposed of for free at the Japanese Beetle Response Yard Waste Drop-Off over on Bridgeview Road. That site is open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Today, Representative Dan Newhouse introducing the Protecting American Agriculture from Foreign Adversaries. It's an act to add the Secretary of Agriculture to the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. This would help take necessary actions to prohibit the purchase of U.S. agricultural lands by foreign adversaries. Now, the bill adds the secretary to approve or deny transactions, including land, biotechnology, transportation, storage, and processing. It also requires the secretary to report any transaction that can be considered a threat to national security. Turning to back to school, students are back on campus. And after the 2023 capital projects levy passed for the Richland School District, construction work is underway. These safety and security upgrades are set to be completed later this year. The main piece of these construction efforts were to modernize the older schools. They didn't have as sophisticated of a surveillance system as our newer schools that have been built in the last couple years. So the goal was to actually create these secure entrances um, where you would buzz, have a buzz in and more uh, monitored surveillance of who is coming in. Be sure you can verify who they are before they actually go into the school. With students now back at school, these projects are wrapping up soon. More details about how construction is going and when it is set to be completed will be on Apple Valley News Now tonight at 6. According to a local group of petitioners, the city of Richland is the only one left in the Tri-Cities where all seven members of the city council are elected at large rather than by district. The group, called A Better Richland, says there are entire neighborhoods in Richland who don't get representation on the council level because of this. Members of A Better Richland now say none of the council members live in central Richland, all residing in the south part of the city. They have an initiative to create five equal districts across the city. Uh, we've been at it for about three or four weeks, so if we're halfway there, we're hoping to be all the way there by the 1st of October, and um, then we'll turn the signature zone in. It won't be on the upcoming November ballot. It would most likely be on a February special ballot. The group is looking for 4,000 signatures to turn the initiative into the city to change the charter. Then once verified, the city will decide on when to host the election on this measure. Only Richland voters can sign this initiative. 
Turning to our environment, yesterday we told you about Initiative 2117. It would repeal Washington's Climate Commitment Act, which was passed in 2021. Well, the Port of Benton recently received a $2.7 million grant for port electrification. Apple Valley News Now's Toby Solving has more. The Climate Commitment Act aims to reduce carbon emissions in the transportation industry, which is the largest contributor to pollution in the state. The Port of Benton's barge complex supports many different industries to get their goods to market, as well as tourism. The executive director of the Port of Benton says that having this standby power option for large vessels is one way that the port can do their part to reduce carbon emissions and support an environmentally responsible transportation system. This is Toby Solvang with Apple Valley News Now. All right, Toby, thank you for that. The project is expected to start infrastructure work next summer, and they are hoping to get it all complete by the fall of 2025. Apple Valley News Now Live at 5 is just getting started. Still ahead, we're going to take a look at Labor Day travel rush that rushes on across the U.S. And we're going to explain why gas prices are continuing to drop, especially here in the Northwest. Plus, the University of Washington is touting a new COVID-19 vaccine. And Stacy will return. She is tracking your all-important local Labor Day first alert weather forecast. Do stay with us. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. And your Ford dealer is the place to start. Get power and capability with gas, hybrid, or all electric. But more important than the power you choose is what you choose to do with it. Phones were made to help us connect, and somehow they've made us less connected, which is ironic. Don't you think? We try to put our phones down, but we need to pick them up to see the menu. We can't watch something without also watching something else. Ironic. Ironic. Huh? ironic. But look, here's a phone company who wants you to use your phone less. That's ironic. Yeah, but in a good way. Let's find us again with us mode. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Traffic jam. Ugh, and I'm already late. Power your adventures with the all-electric 2024 Subaru Solterra. It comes with legendary Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive. Standard plus a rugged 8.3 inches of ground clearance. Everything about the Subaru Solterra is advanced, including the technology keeping you and your passengers safe. Love is now electric. Find your way home in a new Subaru Solterra from McCurley Subaru during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Labor Day is finally here. It's our biggest savings event of the year, and you'll find huge savings on our newest fall arrivals for every room in your home. During the Labor Day event, you'll get a full 60 months to pay with absolutely no interest and no money down. Or for cash purchases, we'll subtract the tax. Join us this Labor Day weekend with special hours Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hurry in to your local Moore Furniture showroom for the best selection. Welcome to Knob Hill Casino in Yakima. Experience the thrill of our Vegas-style casino, featuring the friendliest dealers in town. Join our Players Club and earn exciting rewards. Enjoy games like Blackjack, Pie Gow, and High Card Flush. While you're here, don't forget to unwind with a drink at our cozy bar or enjoy a meal from our restaurant. Come discover Yakima's ultimate entertainment destination, Knob Hill Casino, where the locals play. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. And your Ford dealer is the place to start. Get power and capability with gas, hybrid, or all electric. But more important than the power you choose is what you choose to do with it. Apple Valley News Now, the official television home of the Seattle Kraken. Welcome back to Apple Valley News Now, live at 5 on this Friday. Washington small game hunters and trappers are now required to submit the lower jaw of any bobcat that they harvest. This is all part of a new mandatory pelt sealing process. It follows a rule update finalized through the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, most recent season setting process. Officials say data collected during pelt sealing will allow WDFA or WDFW, I should say, to better manage the state's bobcat populations into the future by helping monitor those populations. A new COVID vaccine is starting to hit our pharmacies and doctor's offices. 
Tonight, we are hearing from Dr. Seth Cohen of Infection Prevention at UW Medicine to see what he thinks about it. Locally, we're seeing very high levels of COVID. We're actually seeing some of the highest test positivity in COVID since probably 2021. You know, the new vaccine was just approved by the FDA. It should be an excellent match for some of the variants that are circulating now, but it does an excellent job of keeping people out of the hospital, preventing severe illness and death. And that, uh, you know, does that both for older folks, but also for kids. And this is back to school season. This is a great time for people to start talking to their pediatricians about you know, the vaccines if they have questions. As a parent, uh, you know, it's a, an exciting time of year, uh, but we also know that as kids get back together, we will see an increase in respiratory viruses, not just among them, but they certainly bring things home to the household. And so keeping kids vaccinated is part of that immune cocoon where we're protecting older folks as well. Well, in other news tonight, if you, if you're what you did on summer vacation, stories include an airport this summer, you're not alone. The Transportation Security Administration says all 10 of the busiest travel days of this year happen this summer, and the next few days are expected to set records of their own. Emily Schmidt reports. Officially, more than three weeks of summer remain. But for millions of people, soaking in the last of that time brings with it some baggage. I mean, honestly, it was a nightmare trying to find parking here. I'm off to Rochester, New York for my niece's uh, wedding. I don't travel on holiday weekends because of this, so this is me stepping outside of my norm. The Transportation Security Administration says 2.86 million people could travel Friday alone, with an expected 17 million over the holiday weekend stretch. That would be a Labor Day record, but not even one of the top 10 days in a record-setting air travel year. We're used to the heavy travel periods like Labor Day, Fourth of July, Thanksgiving, so we are always geared for this kind of uh, volume. Air volume up, gas prices down. The app Gas Buddy projects the national average for a gallon of gas will be $3.27, the lowest Labor Day mark in three years. We've seen prices come down about 15 cents just in the past month. Overstay your holiday welcome and experts say you'll face plenty of company with the worst travel time Monday, 11 until 8. But before that, there's a whole weekend ahead to enjoy. Our flight got canceled due to weather, so we just had to, we're rerouting. So, uh, but, uh, but we're not upset or anything. We're still going to get there for my grandma's 95th birthday. Unlike millions of holiday travelers, summer not going anywhere quite yet. I'm Emily Schmidt reporting. And at Seattle Tacoma International Airport, some flyers still experienced an unexpected bump as a week long cyber attack continued there. The port says most travelers won't be disrupted, though. International and low volume carrier passengers will see some longer lines. Now, an investigation into that cyber attack continues. Coming up tonight at 6, though, we're going to hear from Pasco Airport officials about Labor Day weekend. Back to gas prices here in the Northwest, it's even better news. In fact, drivers in some U.S. states are enjoying an even bigger drop in prices at the pump. Gas prices are down the most over the past year. And get this, Oregon, 97 cents. Washington State at 93 cents. Arizona in the top three at 88 cents. Americans are projected to spend about $750 million less on gas than they did last year. The current price is a far cry from the $5 a gallon gas that Americans faced in June 2022 following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. Ah, the weather, beautiful afternoon. Our Byron Mart Skycam taking a look into the Yakima Valley tonight. It's gorgeous out there. Warm too, 90 degrees. Our humidity is pretty low, 17%. Winds are Neil and our sunset tonight at 738. Now a little bit on the other side of the hill. If you're heading to the Walla Walla Fair uh, for the next couple hours, going to be warm to start with. Get some shade, stay hydrated. 70s and the upper 60s by 9. So maybe a coat, but maybe not. Looking pretty good tonight for the Walla Walla Fair and it's there tough enough to wear pink rodeo night. 
clear, warmer with light winds through the area. Most of us sitting in the 50s overnight. A little bit warmer here in Walla Walla and Dayton. We're down to 54 tonight in the Tri-Cities. 59 Yakima, 57 in Ellensburg. And if you are one of those folks hitting the road, it's going to be a warm weekend through the Pacific Northwest. Very pleasant on the coast with temperatures in the upper 60s, low 70s, and staying dry for most of the weekend. Plan on some traffic delays depending on where you're at. Obey those burn bans and be fire wise as we talked about earlier. Now west side uh, Seattle looking good. This is where we see that transition on Labor Day Monday. The clouds will start to roll in. We're not seeing any showers in that cast, but if you head on down to the Portland area or onto the coast, that's where you could start to see those showers developing Monday afternoon uh, out on the coastline, but nice and warm through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, cooling down a good 10 degrees with that system moving through. Spokane is going to stay warm and dry all weekend. Look at the cool down though dropping five degrees on Monday. So not a bad looking travel forecast. And if you're going to stay closer to home, hitting the river over the weekend, look for 97, nice and hot out there. UV index pretty high. Make sure you're wearing that sunscreen river temp just under 70 degrees and winds will be perfect. So great time to stay home. Let's check out that weather pattern over the next couple days. Now the high pressure strengthens over the weekend, bringing those warmer temperatures and you see them coming up from the south. That will continue and then we have a low pressure system floating around out here. That's going to start moving in late Sunday and bring unsettled weather, but we'll continue to see those hot temperatures Sunday being the hottest above average all this area here in the orange. This upper level low though is going to start moving across and that will make our air our pattern unstable and that's when we could see those thunderstorms through the area. Sunny, warmer, light winds tomorrow. Temperatures in the upper 90s, just flirting with 100 degrees here in the Columbia Basin. 96 there. The Dow's hitting 100, and then we'll see those warmer temperatures. Here's that trend for Tri Cities and Hermiston staying above the average of 87, kind of dipping down next week, and then we'll start to see better temperatures coming along. Same thing, Yakima and Walla Walla. All right, seven day planner. There you go. There's your triple digits on September 1st. Labor Day, slight chance of those showers, like we said. Taking a peek at Yakima. It's going to be a hot one for you on Sunday. Monday looking good. That's when we'll see those clouds rolling in. A little unsettled. Ellen's we're going to be nice and warm and uh, Walla Walla. Also, we've got warm temperatures close to 100 on Sunday and here we go in Hermiston again 99. So teetering around the 100 degree mark over the weekend and then we cool down and we stay pretty warm though as we get those last three weeks of summer in. I know, I know. I had a feeling it was going to warm up, but yeah. that's only because you were telling us. So. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Stacey. Up next on your news at five, we have tonight's spotlight. We're shining the light on Miss Teen Tri-Cities. An awesome water skiing adventure. Fly the Northwest, Tuesday at 6. <laughs> Say less, get more. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Choose from Bacon McDouble, McChicken, McDouble, or Hot and Spicy McChicken. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Life can be hard. <laughs> With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Drive into summer with the rugged Honda Ridgeline Passport and Pilot. Summer is for exploring, so get outdoors, kick up some dust, get muddy, or just find that perfect campsite. All from Honda, the 2024 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand. So act now to get an offer you'll love. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into the Honda Summer Event. David, did you remember to get me an anniversary present? Anniversary? Of course, it's Mattress Depot USA's anniversary, and we're having a gigantic sale. Take advantage of our best prices of the year. And interest-free financing. David, you do know anniversaries only come once a year, right? Yes, and if you miss ours, you'll, you'll be, be sorry. sorry. Prices every day. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. There are those who factor and those who don't. <sighs> Nothing this good comes this easy. 
except Factor. Fresh, never frozen meals ready in two minutes. Stan's gonna ride the Nebula Drop Tower. Finally! I'm ready to ascend to the clouds to go where no dino has gone before. Goodbye, Earth. Hi, Alice! Whoa, he doesn't know it comes back down? Apparently not. I'll let you know when I hit orbit. Drop Tower, I get it. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including go-karts, mini golf, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. You thought it would bust through the ceiling? You came through a portal from another dimension. Weird stuff happens. Hash browns are the french fries of breakfast. Who says it's not french fries that are the hash browns of lunch and dinner? That's also true. BOGO for a dollar. Choose from a sausage McMuffin, burrito, McGriddles, biscuit, or hash browns. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Breaking news right now from the Apple Valley News Now newsroom. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office says Sheffield Road west of R-170 and Basin Slope Road south of Sage Hill Road is now closed. An irrigation canal on the hill above Basin Slope is washed out and it has damaged the road, leaving a large crater. Crews are on the scene working to make repairs to avoid that area. Time for tonight's Spotlight, and it's all about Mid-Columbia Libraries. They are working with Miss Tri-Cities teen Hadley Blizzard to distribute dyslexia reading kits to the community. Blizzard will be donating 300 kits she prepared to MCL. She will drop off the initial batch of kits at Mid-Columbia Libraries West Pasco branch on September 5th at 10 a.m. And a quick reminder, if you have an idea for the Spotlight at 5, send me an email, a read at applevalleynewsnow.com. Stacy's back with a final look at weather next. Newscasts anytime with Apple Valley Plus on Roku, Apple Fire, and Smart TVs. Look, here's a phone company who wants us to use our phones less. That's ironic. Yeah, but in a good way. Let's find us again with us mode. U.S. Cellular, built for us. It's a free ride, but I already paid. It only happens once a year. See Han Kia Summer Clearance Sale. So don't get stuck in the slush. Bring any trade, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. You can take advantage of Steve Han All Wheel Drive Sale. All with zero down, zero payments for 90 days. Steve Han Kia.com. The GOAT is in town. The Walla Walla Fair and Frontier Days is bringing you five exciting fun days, starting with Martina McBride on opening day, then under Reiner Honda of Walla Walla Demolition Derby, and then three full days of PRCA Rodeo. Pick up your tickets today. The GOAT is happening at the Walla Walla Fair and Frontier Days, August 28th to September 1st at the fairgrounds in Walla Walla. Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our Labor Day Super Sale and discover unbeatable deals and save quality time to spend with your family. Like this Whirlpool washer and dryer set and save $480. Easily swap the agitator in or out to care for clothes the way you want and get twice the washer you have at home with the auto dry drying system that also features wrinkle shield. At Fred's, we sell appliances. Only appliances. Streets 1 to 5 to 7, 9, 10. This Labor Day, More Furniture is introducing the luxurious new estate collection of mattresses by Stearns & Foster. Handmade by certified master craftsmen, the collection features temper indulge memory foam and IntelliCoil inner springs to provide exceptional comfort and support all night long. During our Labor Day event, take a full 60 months to pay with absolutely no interest and no money down and get a free premium bedding bundle including two pillows, a mattress protector and a full set of sheets. Visit your local showroom today. It only happens once a year. Steve Han Kia Summer Clearance Sale. So don't get stuck in the slush. Bring any trade, even if you owe thousands more than it's worth. You can take advantage of Steve Han All Wheel Drive Sale. All with zero down, zero payments for 90 days. Steve Han Kia.com. Our phones were made to help us connect. And somehow they've made us less connected. Which is ironic. Don't you think? Ugh, I love this song so much. Let's find us again with Us Mode. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. 
When Apple Valley News Now first alert weather forecasted weekend thunderstorms. We're going to see some heavy showers, especially in Yakima and Kittitas County. Viewers told us that their phone weather apps didn't mention them. Weather apps show no rain or thunderstorms in Sunnyside Yakima area. The weather app says nothing but sunshine. Who do I listen to? That Saturday was one of the biggest days of thunderstorms we've seen in recent memory. Trust the Apple Valley News Now first alert weather team to get it right. Unlike weather apps, we're local and on your side. All right, our weather photo of the day, very fun. Sunset West Richland, or the west of the city of Richland, I should say. That was taken a few nights ago, but very pretty colors. Weather photos, you can get them on. That, use that QR code right side of your screen. Taking a peek at our quick seven-day planning forecast. It's going to be hot this weekend, guys. Try to stay hydrated. Stay cool and stay indoors if you are sensitive to the heat. All right, world news tonight coming up next. We're back at 6.